More in Life Church. I want to talk to us a little bit, or talk to you a little bit about um, where we're supposed to be. And uh, and so I want to read 1 Corinthians 12, 18. It says, but our bodies have many parts and God has put each part just where he wants it. <laughs> and so I really want to focus on this part where it says, God has put each part where he wants it. So God has a design for every member in the body of Christ and for everyone. And so we need to understand that there's a place for us and God has that design. And when we walk in that place that God has for us, we walk into the promises that he has for us and, and we're gonna do exactly what he has, has for us. So we can walk into that with any, without fear and we can walk into it knowing that he's got us and that his design is the best design and learn to trust him in that. And so when we look at the nation of Israel and we look at specifically when they are coming out of um, out of captivity and they're just about to go in the promised land, we see them at Mount Sinai and we read that in Deuteronomy 1. Six, it says, when we were at Mount Sinai, the Lord, our God said to us, we have stayed at this mountain long enough, right? And so God's telling the nation of Israel at that point in time, like you guys have been here long enough. And up until that point, they had been trusting God and learning to trust God in, in their, um, in the desert, basically, you know, wandering for 40 years, which was kind of ironic because it's a journey that would have taken them about seven days really, right? And, uh, and so we see that and they come to this place and then Deuteronomy 1 8 he continues to tell them look I am giving all this land to you go in and occupy it for it is the land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors Abraham Isaac and Jacob and to all their descendants and so we continue to see that God has a place for them he's designed something for them and he has that for them and so we see the nation of Israel in that moment that instead of trusting God in that moment that uh, that he had a place for him that was designed, they send their, we know all those stories, he sends the spies in, right? And they come back and only two of them go a good report. The rest of them are like, ah, oh, we're scared, right? They'll let fear dictate what they were going to do instead of trusting God. And so what we need to do in our own lives, taking that value system on is, is believe that God has something for us and God has a place for all of us. And so when we start to trust him, when we start to walk through that journey of getting to know who he is and rely on him and start to trust in him, we can, we can follow that instead of allowing fear to drive us. We can know God has a plan. And as soon as you find what God is leading you to, if you just lean on, lean on him and start to trust him, He'll lead you into that promised land and he'll be faithful to you just like he was to the nation of Israel. And so, and we see, you know, without leaving the downside of the nation of Israel, we see the next generation come and they took that to heart. And then we see in Deuteronomy 31, five through six, the Lord will hand over to you the people who live there and you must deal with them as I have commanded you. So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. And so we see God give them that, that promise there that he's with them in all of it. And just to be courageous and not to have fear. And so when we continue that journey and when God gives us our place in life and our position, um, just to be faithful in that and to trust him and be courageous and not let that fear drive us. So that's just why I had to share it with you today. Thank you.